Hey everybody, the Bong is here, yet to give you another Castlevania Let's Play. This one on the Sega Genesis. Castlevania Bloodlines. This was a game made in 1994 by, you guessed it, Konami. Yeah, we'll do a one player game. Now I can choose like which character I want to be. Do I want to be John Morris, the guy with the whip, or do I want to be the Spaniard with the uh, spear? Uh, I prefer using the whip, so we'll go with John Morris. Plus his name is pretty close to a professional wrestler in WWE, John Morrison. I mean, the names are pretty similar. Stage 1. Ruins of the Castle Dracula, Romania. You know what this means. Euro Trip! Ooh, pretty cool cutscene. Let's do this. Crack that whip! I mean, the controls are pretty useful. I mean, easy to get used to. Like, basically, like, B is your jump and A is your whip. And I think C is the, uh, use your sub-item. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I like that. Let's try it out. Yep. And plus, there's lots of blood and gore in this. So if you like blood and you like gore and guts, this is the game for you. Look at all these zombies, they're everywhere. Uh, is there anything down here? There, yeah, I'll take a shortcut. Nope. There, yeah, I'll save you some time. Hmm, peeping eyes. Leave me alone! Stop spying on me! Ooh, a book! That gives you more, more spells. Yeah, instead of getting hearts, you get like gems now. But they basically serve the same purpose. And in this game, they can actually distinguish like which uh, candles give you sub items and which give you gems. Like you see those single candles over there? Ow, that was gay. That tells you it's a sub-weapon. But like, double candles? That's your gems right there. It would be a good idea to whip like every single one to find one that's tailor-made for you. Personally, I prefer the boomerang. Which sadly isn't the cross in this version. But the European version of this game is more censored. In fact, it's not even called Bloodlines. Uh, to be honest with you, no, I don't want to get beat by that. But to be honest with you, I don't know the name of the uh, Genesis version. I know it's not Bloodlines because they censor blood entirely. There, I'm not letting a bat get me this time. Uh, do I want the holy water? Yeah, why not? God damn, there's so many bats. Leave me alone. You're acting like we're married. Great a hellhound. First sub boss. You gotta be quick against this guy. Because the broken glass will hurt you. Ah, there we go. Stop breaking windows! You're a disgrace. You gotta admit, that was pretty cool. Wait, lots of skeletons here. Well, let's use the X. Alright, now a whip's fully upgraded. However, I lose this major upgrade once I get hit. Very disappointingly, nonetheless, but we'll live. <laughs> Look at these retards up there hanging on that. They didn't stand a chance. Oh, great bone pillars. Damn it! Oh, that's my all powerful upgrade. I took a few hits too. Very disappointingly, nonetheless. 
Uh, yep, take the holy water again. Why not? Oh no! That was my fault. I didn't think they'd turn around so fast. But I know now. Look at all the blood dripping from the ceiling over there. That's a really cool effect. I mean, the Sega Genesis really takes advantage of their graphics card. I like that. Upgrade a mace skeleton. Luckily, I could whip him from up close. How big is this castle anyway? I mean, it's already in ruins. Well, I hate these skeletons that throw their bones at you. Some of them just don't go down, so you have to, like... Damn it. Took another hit. Ha! You jump right into a guillotine! You retard! Ha <laughs> ha! You suck. I mean, who jumps into a guillotine anyway? Only retarded people, i.e. you. No wonder you died in the past life. Oh, great, it's a falling bridge. Be quick. Change the music. There, I hate you, White Dragon, so much. I'm pretty close to the first boss. Really close. Uh, yeah, I think I will use the boomerang in this battle. Let's see what the first boss looks like. Oh my god, that's one giant knight. He's armed for combat, no doubt. Got an axe and a spear. Now that's a guy who does not have to choose. Leave me alone! Let go around! Oh great, now he's got no weapons. He's gonna go around on steroids now. There, I think he's beat now. Crumble before me, for I am John Morris! Sure, I'm not a Belmont, but... I'm carrying their weapon after all, so that must mean something. Ooh, stage one cleared. Where else in Europe are we gonna go? Hopefully go to the Ho go to Holland and pick up some hookers. Nope. Atlantis Shrine, Greece. Oh, I wonder how many prisoners escape from here. Oh, burn! Yeah, you hear about that story in Greece pretty recently about these prisoners that escaped. Apparently they had an accomplice come out in a helicopter and uh, let's do that one over again. Come out in a helicopter and help them escape carrying an assault rifle and everything. That was just something right off the movie Prison Break. I mean the show Prison Break. Did I say the movie Prison Break? Oh my god. I'm losing my mind here. That goes to show I never watched the show. Oh seriously, I do not watch Prison Break. Not a lot of stuff I watch on TV to be honest with you. I find TV is a little overrated these days and there's not a lot of much there that's on that appeals to me. They all have the graphics here, the reflecting water. Oh shit! The water's rising! Time for safe state abuse! Look at all these minotaurs, they're everywhere. I wonder if you can get grade A beef out of them. Now that's a real mad cow disease. I mean, you know you're getting mad cow disease if the if the animal that you ate was carrying a spear. Mm. I did not go the right way, did I? Should have known there was a trap. Okay, note to self: take the left stairs. 
Don't go to the right stairs, go to the left ones. Vampire Hunters could swim, too. Luckily, that problem is fixed in later adaptations of the series. Oh, it looks like the water stopped. And the water stopped? So will I, for the time being, so stay tuned for the next part. Bye!